Hi, I'm Tyler for TK24 Sports. Now on today's show, we're going to look at the second bid on Arsenal Football Club from Daniel Ek to Stan Kroenke. Is this one going to get accepted? But before we get into that, let's make sure you like, subscribe, turn that notification on so you don't miss a show every time we upload. Let's go now. So, Daniel Ek is supposed to be coming back with a second bid of north of 2 billion. Of course, his 1.8 billion got rejected. And Stan Kroenke has always come out and said, we don't need the money. Well, that is true. I mean, the man's wealthy enough. Forget about his wife's asset, part of the Walton family who own Walmart. So of course he doesn't need the money, but he doesn't rely on his wife. His wife's not invented into this deal. He's got his own money. But the problem is with Daniel Ek, he's just saying, yeah, we're gonna make a second bid. But that's a bid. You need to come in with substance with that bid. You need to come in with something to turn around and say, do you know what? Not only are we going to bid, but we're going to tell you what we're going to do should we be successful with this bid. Then also outline what this man is not doing while being the owner to what you would be doing should you become the owner. You did come out and then you did have Henri, you did have Burkham and Vieira behind you saying, yeah, we're part of this little takeover thing and yeah, it's going to be cool. But no one actually said what you was going to do on the pitch. You did say, you know, some of the Arsenal you know, ways are not there no more. Yeah, that's great. We know that. Tell us something we don't know. Fill us with hopes and dreams. Because as football fans, that's what we live for, is hoping and dreaming that we're gonna be competitive to win. But right now, that's not happening. So, if I was Daniel Ek, this would be my pitch. Yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna go in there with a, a bigger bid than two billion. See, now it could be 2.1, it could be 205, it could be 2.05, that is. You know, you're just saying it's going to be north of two billion. Okay, that's going to get the fans excited. But once we take, once should we should we be successful? And I think we will be successful in this bid. This is what we're going to do. We're going to make sure the best of the best players are going to be on that pitch. We're going to make sure we're going to be competitive every single season, going for the Premier League, get back into the Champions League. See, that's the word there. Get back into the Champions League. Win multiple more FA Cups, win multiple Carabao Cups, because we haven't even touched that trophy for a minute. So we want to be competitive on all aspects. We get to, for this season, it's a shame, but we're only going to be competing in three trophies. I want to be able to take over and make sure we're in the finals of both the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, and then be in the conversation of winning the Premier League. You see, realistic expectations right there. You didn't say win the Premier League, be in the conversation of winning the Premier League. Then the season after that, what we're going to do is build upon what we, the success that we had from this season, getting back into the Champions League, winning multiple trophies of the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, contending for the top four and pushing on for the league. So what we're going to do the next season is make sure we go again, but we're going to go higher and higher and higher. If players do not want to be part of the project, of course, we can have an understanding about that. But I want the best of the best playing for this club, like we had back in the day when I was watching Arsenal with Henri Vieira, Burkamp. I even saw, you know, let's say Ian Wright play Kevin Campbell. Let's say um, Anders Limper, Paul Davis. You can go on and on. We, all, we want people in here at the back line that's got the attitude and the... Mm, of a Martin Keon, a Tony Adams, a Nigel Winterburn, a Lee Dixon. We're talking about a Lovon or an Ashley Cole, a Sol Campbell, Carlo Torre, a Jens Lehmann, a David Seaman. So you go on with that warpath of talking like that, that will energize the older Arsenal fans and the newer Arsenal fans who never got to see those legends play, go, damn, do you know what? That's the owner I want. And then Stan Kroenke is either going to come back firing and saying, listen, yes, we don't need to sell, but this is what we're going to do. So you want them pitting off each other. So at the end of the day, what we want is just the best of the best for the club. That's what we want for, for Arsenal Football Club. We want the best of the best. Now, I'm sorry if I went a bit too fast when I was talking then and you didn't understand what I said. In a nutshell, I want Daniel Ek to come out and challenge Stan Kroenke's position. When I say challenge, I'm talking about saying what he's going to do to what he's not doing. So you don't talk about what um, Kroenke's not doing. You don't need to do that. Let's talk about what you're going to do should you take over the club. Then it's up to Kroenke to decide, are we going to fight this in public or are we going to fight this by, by signing the best of the best? Because this guy's talking like he's going to sign the best of the best and make him challenge for the league, get back into the Champions League, win the Carabao Cup, win the FA Cup, make Arsenal relevant again. If you saw that video about a big club versus relevant club, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, that's enough for this, fan. 
if I'm Daniel Ek, that's what I would be doing. If I had his money, that's how I would be going on right now. It's so hot today. So you see me sweat, that's the reason why it is so hot. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Ty Knight for TK24 Sports. And again, if you're new to the show, make sure you like, subscribe, turn that notification on so you don't miss another show every time we upload. Thank you for watching. We're still growing. See you soon.